guys I'm out here fishing off a rock rip wrap close to a bridge if you've seen uh, some of my older videos you'll see me in a kayak out here we already know there's some rocks some structure and some concrete back here in the culvert uh, this water gets about 13 to 14 foot deep so that's what we're gonna fish about 13 foot I'm gonna fish about 50 foot increments off the bank here until I find that structure we're gonna be using eight pound mono a pair of split shots minnow hook slip cork and a, and a bobber stop you want the bobber stop stop your bobber at 13 feet we're gonna set that bobber stop at 13 feet so this is a good way to find crappie in the summer they're gonna be deep they're not gonna be shallow so you got to find places like this that hold it have a little structure off on some deeper water so let's get out here and see what we catch you want to get you a pack of these bobber stops they actually say bobber stops on the package now this is what they sell around here I just get these at Walmart you slip this uh, tube up on your line, slip your knot off, cinch it down, pull the tube off. You can add a bead if you want to. Guys do that to keep the knot from slipping through the uh, top of the bobber. But I don't see a problem with that. That hole is so small in this bobber that I'm using. It's not going to matter. And uh, this is a weighted bobber. Now I like those in certain situations. But today we don't want a weighted bobber because we need to find bottom and fish off bottom. And... A weighted bobber is going to stand up regardless if you're sitting on bottom or not. Where a non-weighted bobber, uh, something like this one here, with no weight on the bottom, it's going to lay over on its side if your bait's on bottom. And when your weight and your bait is off of bottom, it's going to pull down on the bobber, it's going to stand it up. And that's how we know... We found bottom and then that's how we know we get off a of bottom and fish in the right depth is you got your bobber standing up. So that's what we want today. We want bobber, non-weighted bobber, bobber stops. Split shot, minnow hook, and that'll get it done. So I don't like using eight pound line unless I'm vertical jigging. And even then I like to use braid and I'd rather use braid. But uh, minnow hook, split shot, and I'm probably gonna double up that split shot. But first thing we got to do is get it all off and put your bobber stop on because without the bobber stop we can't stop it at the right depth now i've said this in a previous video but i'm going to say it again now just because it's important these bobber stops come two or three types um this one right here has a slot in the top right here and it, with that slot you can pull it off the line on top or bottom of the knot without that slot you got to pull it off the bottom your tag end because if you don't if you don't then you're gonna have this piece of plastic free floating above your knot so you want to slide it off just to be safe slide your knot off toward the rod tip and slide this plastic off the tag end and you can discard that and I'll put it over here with the rest of my trash cinch this knot down try not to bunch it up so you're not smooth going through the eye of the of the rod all right, now, I know my rod's nine foot rod, all right? And I wanna be at about 13 feet deep. So we're gonna use that to our advantage. Swing this back in here. Get the line down here at nine foot, right there. Nine foot, 10 feet, 11 feet, 12 feet, 13 feet, roughly. And I'm gonna give myself about six more inches for uh when i tie on my hook and stuff all right that should get it done right there now that'll give me a 13 foot depth now what i want to do is slide this bobber stop all the way up to the top of this line where my rod tip is keep going and we'll know if we're too deep basically whenever the uh bobber either lays over or stands up if it stands up we're good if it lays over we're too deep and we can slide that bobber stop back down and if we throw it out there and we stand in our bobber up and we're not getting any bites we may be too shallow and then we can go from there when that happens now i want my minnow to swim around free okay i want him to have some room to like thrash around so i give myself a good 12 to 14 inch leader on that 
And they're all handy dandy PC fun pliers. I like those pliers. Alright, I'm going to use an improved clinch knot. I just twist it about six or seven times. And feed the line through the bottom loop. And then cinch it down a little. Bring it around and feed it back through the top loop. Like that. Pull it, cinch it down. And then clip your tag end off. I used my teeth. I wouldn't suggest that for you. But that's how I do it. Alright. I'm going to crimp down on my split shot so it doesn't slide down on me. Alright. I'm going to try a single split shot in a minnow. And we'll kind of go from there. I'm going to see if that's good enough. Or... Alright, so now here, I'm at 13 feet. I want to go ahead and cinch this down a little more. I want it to be pretty tight. And then um, I'll clip off the tag ends. A lot of times I like to leave those tag ends a little long. Um, so if I want to adjust that knot, I can. But some of these crappie, um, some of these crappie rods have really small eyelets, and um, don't want to let this knot pass, especially with a bunch of extra tag line on it. So there we go. All right, we're going to start with a single split shot, even though I want to run duels. I should anyway put the duels on, but I didn't, so. All right. All right. So you can see right now that that bobber's laying over. And what that bobber laying over is telling me is that my weight and my hook are laying on bottom. When that bobber stands up straight, we know we're dangling in the water column. So let's, I'm not even going to get up, guys. I'm just going to sit here, spin around, grab a minnow out of my bucket, put him on. And cast out. Now, we have no idea, no earthly idea, where that structure is. So we've just got to kind of hope for the best see this is why I want dual split shots right there I don't feel like that lines feeding through that bobber like I want it to so we're not seeing the bars not laying right and I'm not sure I'm at the right depth matter of fact while that's floating around out there I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my tackle box that has all my jig heads and split shots because I'm adding another one regardless. I want enough weight on there to make sure I'm where I want to be and I'm as deep as I want to be. So let's go ahead and add a second split shot. That will give us a quarter ounce of weight. And that ought to help pull that bobber stop down through there. Alright. There we go. See if that straightens it out. That ought to straighten it out. Let's start right there. I think that's way too far out. I'm going to come back this way to about right. I'm going to start there. Oh, yeah. That's feeding line for sure. I see the line going out. Now, it stood up. Did you all see that? The bobber is now standing straight up. I saw the line go out until the bobber stop hit the top of the bobber. So we are now currently fishing somewhere in the vicinity of a 13 foot range out there right where we want to be roughly. Oh, there we go. There we go. Something got after it. Something's still getting after it. There he is. I got him. Whatever it is, I got it at that time. Hopefully we sunk a good hook in him. Oh, those are crappie. Yeah. Those are crappie. It's not big enough to keep, though. Well, we found one. Right here from the bank, guys. That last one's about the same size as this one. Remember, I told you those smaller ones tend to be on top. And so, we want to go with um, maybe a little deeper set. 
we'll run across there a couple more times if we keep pulling up you know dinkers we will uh drop down i want to make sure that's what i'm seeing whoa i got him <sighs> had to give him a second make sure he got that hook in him That feels like a string of fish or, or a cat. Oh, he's not happy. That's a string of fish or a, oh, a dadgum drum. Man, why you gotta ruin my day? Ruin my day by the drum. It's all right. Oh, they say something's better than nothing. Ow, that's pretty close to nothing. Swimming backwards. Oh, 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 he was, the bobber was going backwards. He's doing it again. He's got it. I got him. I knew he had it. That's what happens when Crofty swim backwards with it. They get it. All right. Well, guys, no award winners. But I'm catching Crofty from the bank in June. So, I mean... We gotta keep that up. I know there's bigger ones. Those bigger ones probably come out, you know, at sunset, a little bit later. He wants it pretty bad. He'll come get it. There he goes. He's hitting it. He's got it. And I got him. That feels like a better fish, guys. That feels like a better fish. Hope that's a crappie. It's not, it's a white bass. I got a little bit of everything out here. Oh, there's another drum. Another drum. Man, that was a better fish. I knew it was. A drum this size fights more like a 13, 12, 13 inch crappie. There he goes. And I hooked him. Let's see what that is. Another little crappie dog. That's not a dog. Just a little crappie. We got a few little crappie out there. Let me get rid of these minnows. Where'd he go? He just swam right off. I hate that. Oh, we got little ones. But again, we'll catch a crappie off the bank in June. If nothing else, it's just for a fun day. Ow, my butt's sore from sitting on this rock. Got him. Got him, got him. He sat on it, guys. He's just sitting on it. I didn't even know I had him. Just sitting on it. I'm glad I didn't get him too deep because I could have the way he was eating it. A little old crappie dog. A little old pup dog is actually what that one is. Just a little pup dog. Ugh. There we go. Got him. Ooh, I hope that's a crappie. If it is, it's the biggest one of the day. I bet that's a drum because he's too heavy. Too heavy to be a crappie. Yeah, another drum. Yes, sir. Another drum. It's all right. If you're starving, these are good eating. People eat these things. Oh, it's going backwards. It's going backwards. That's good. Keep going. Keep going backwards. Keep going backwards. Keep doing it. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. I know I got him. I know I do. Yep. Because you can't pull it that far backwards for that long. And not be caught. Well, guys, looks like I found Dinkfest. I hate that for y'all. I sure wanted to show you some nicer fish. But it's a big risk coming out here and uh, looking for crappie off the bank and in the middle of June. Usually they're deeper right now. They're sitting out in 15-ish feet of water on timber or brush piles or something. We wouldn't want to hurt him. 
hard not to, but oh, there you go. He's gone. 